Hey guys, it is Saturday, the 12th of December, and we went to the swap meet, the fantastic indoor swap meet, and I got a new phone case. It's mode blue. And what I like about it, it's a lot like my gooseberry one, but it has actually has two places for cards and then for bills. And um, I had her put a glass screen protector on and it came with that so I, this so I just plan on keeping this in here with my phone so that was twenty dollars and the screen protector was fifteen so I really like that I like it a lot and it has a strap and we went to um, this Asian store and I got all these papers these are funeral papers I guess what are, they, what are they called? Joss papers. And they light them and throw them into the... I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but they were so pretty. I thought some of these might be... They're supposed to be really thin. So I thought these might be cool for crafting, for Mod Podge or whatever. Look at those bold ones. So, die cut with them. They're pretty thin, but um, I'm going to try to do different techniques with those. And then I got this packet, and it has all these really cool papers and hell banknote. That's funny. So, this will be fun for projects. It's really chilly here today. Windy and chilly. So there are all of these bills here. And I don't know if, if anyone knows the significance of this, if you're Chinese or of Chinese heritage or you just know. Joss paper. Just so pretty. Look at all this stuff. This is like two dollars. I hope that my uh, using them in projects isn't like sacrilege, but just really neat stuff. I don't want to take it all apart. And then look at all of these. They're just so cool. Tony looked up Joss papers on his phone because I'm like, I don't know what that is. And it said it had to do with burning them at a funeral. Look at how gorgeous these are. So that was that pack. And then there's this pack. Look at those. Ten pieces. And then there's kind of a, oh, that's just the label. Aren't these gorgeous? I don't think I want to get them wet. I have a feeling that the, other than Mod Podge, I have a feeling they're not color fast. So there's 25 pieces here. But aren't they gorgeous? So I just wanted to share that with you and um, again if somebody can uh, clue me in as to what, oh I just ripped the gold off of that, but even the back of these is really cool, textured and so uh, those are my papers from the Asian market and they have some really really cool stuff in there. And. Uh, 
I looked to see if they had any pens from Japan, but they didn't, so. Oh, and then I made this card using my, um, my little Eskimo and Husky and Igloo stamp. Just thought it was super cute. And I used some of my Wink of Stella on the Igloo and the snow down here. Sending you warm wishes. I kept putting sequins up here and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, but I think I'm just going to leave it this way. I think I like it just plain and simple. So, And this paper was a biatch to cut out with my die. I even had to cut it out with scissors, so it didn't want to cut all the way through. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I will just talk to you in my next video. Love you. Bye. Oh, I wanted to show you this. I used my um, die that I got, the memory box die, the shaker card, or not shaker card, but the snow globe die. And so that's what I did. Really cute. And I have I had another one that I tried to glue and it was a fail, so I had to throw it away. But I've got this one to... Uh, assemble somehow. I think I cut it too low though because then when the base goes on it covers up. So I might just use that for something else. But these are so quick and easy to color. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show that to you as well. Okay guys, thanks. Bye.